But now we're going to turn to the man accused of driving drunk and killing four people after slamming into a Long Island nail salon. He had his first court appearance today. 64-year-old Stephen Schwally has a prior DWI and now faces another charge for Friday's deadly crash. Fox 8 Jody Goldberg joins us live from Central Islip with the very latest tonight. Jody. Natasha and Bianca Schwally was wheeled into the courtroom in a wheelchair. He had no shoes on and he was wearing what appeared to be a gray hospital gown. As for that DWI, you mentioned that prior DWI, he was sentenced for that almost 10 years ago to the date of that fatal crash. Surveillance shows alleged drunk driver Stephen Schwally speeding as he plowed through Hawaii Nail and Spa in Deer Park on Friday afternoon before coming to a rest at the back of the business. His taillights still seen flashing. On Monday, cameras were allowed inside the courtroom as prosecutors depicted 64-year-old Schwally as drunk and dangerous. They say he was driving in the opposite lane of traffic and came close to striking pedestrians. He also went airborne just moments before causing what witnesses called a violent explosion. According to court documents, Schwally had bloodshot and glassy eyes, slurred and mumbled speech and smelled like alcohol. He told officers he had 18 beers the night before the crash, but stopped drinking around three or four in the morning. The impact killed four salon owner, 37 year old Jen Sai Chen and employees, 41 year old Yen Shu and 50 year old Mei Tu Zhang, all from Queens, along with with customer 30-year-old Amelia Renhack, a newlywed and an off-duty NYPD officer who worked in the 102 precinct and lived in Deer Park. Her widower, a detective from the same precinct, was visibly upset as he walked inside the courtroom with members of the NYPD. <laughs> Prosecutors say 10 others were taken to the hospital. One was airlifted. The once bustling nail salon is now boarded up as a growing memorial serves as a reminder of the lives lost. GoFundMe pages are dedicated for donations. One is to help Chen's wife, who has a long road to recovery. The widow will now raise their five and 10 year old children alone. Prosecutors say Schwelly has been living in hotels after selling his house in Dix Hills last year. He entered a plea of not guilty. His attorney Ernie says his client, a veteran, had a successful career and isn't a flight risk. And now the judge set bail at $1 million cash. Schwally is due back in court on Friday. His blood alcohol test is still pending. There's a vigil tonight at 7 o'clock for the victims, and we'll have more for you tonight at 10.